So in the past few days, I think I realized why uh, people, entrepreneurs in general, we're always saying, like, uh, try to focus on uh, providing value and the money will come. Don't chase money and all of these things, like, why you shouldn't chase money if you want to get rich and all of these things. Why, if you chase money, you won't get rich. So, I think I realized that uh, because some people, when they want to start an SMA in real life, like, offering services to local businesses, uh, they will immediately, like, hey, I will do this for this amount of money. And they get rejected and rejected and rejected. And they say it's a scam, it doesn't work. But what they don't try is to actually just provide value first. Because if you actually provide value first, especially for free, usually you will get something in return. At least something. Uh, because uh, it's in people's nature uh, to give back. If someone has uh, given them something, they should give back. So this also works for most of local businesses, at least here in my town. So if I, let's say... I literally said to my dentist, hey, I will make a free website. I want to learn how to make a website. I will make it for free. So, and he said, okay, nice. He didn't really care much. Uh, but yeah, I made a website literally for free. And he was so happy, so happy, so happy that he gave me 60 bucks and said, if you need anything, anything regarding teeth and everything, everything is for free. Just come and I will do it for free for you. Same goes for my uh, barber. I went to him uh, and said like, hey, I will add you to Google Maps because he wasn't on Google Maps and I will uh, make an IG profile for you and I will post some pictures there for you. And he wasn't interested. He said like, okay, whatever. And when I did it, literally for free, uh, with, out of nowhere, he just started saying when uh, he does my beard or he does my uh, fade, he just says, it's on me, you don't need to pay anything. Literally, like uh, people will in the beginning seem probably uninterested because rarely someone does something good for free and uh, they will often be like uninterested. People often think something is a scam with, when it's for free. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. And uh, the third thing is when I went to a local a little restaurant, mini restaurant, where I used to eat like two years ago. And uh, I saw that their Instagram profile was without any posts for the past two or three years. And I said, hey, I will, uh, after I ate and paid, I said, uh, hey, uh, I, would, I would be really happy to do some pictures and uh, Instagram account management for you for free. And they were like, wow, th that's really nice. We were, we were looking for someone who would do that, but nobody wants to do it. And with that, they would mean like nobody wants to do it for free or for low price because you have agencies that you can hire, but they charge a lot of money. So literally, if you are a teenager and any income would be good income because you are uh, also learning some skills that you need, um, it would be really nice for you to do the same thing that I did here. Because they, these guys, when I said I will do it for free, they said, oh, don't worry, we will cover you in terms of like uh, giving free food, uh, giving some money and stuff like that. Because if you start with, I will do it for $200, they will say, fuck off. But if you say, uh, hey, I will do it for free, no worries, I need experience. They will be like open for working with you because they want free value or everyone wants free value. Uh, but they maybe won't seem as hyped because they are like, I don't really care. Because if they cared, they would probably have it done already uh, but you just need to be like hey i will do it for free like um, it's a project for my school or whatever i need experience i will do it for free for you it will be really good you won't be disappointed i will help you and all of these kinds of things you say it and uh, most of them shouldn't reject you except if you come there for the first time but if they know you they probably won't reject you because these guys, my dentist, my barber, and this little restaurant, all of those people, those owners knew me. So you shouldn't, you probably shouldn't enter a business for the first time and do this. But if they knew, if they know you, you can do this, uh, do this exact thing that uh, I did. So uh, literally, like, let's check, oh, 6% battery left. Oh. So literally, just forget about Imangadzi and charging people $2,000 uh, per month and focus on providing value in the beginning because even if they literally don't give you anything in return which are really low chances to happen because they're uh, they would feel guilt if they didn't give you anything in return 
because they would feel like they are scamming you as a kid like you are ritual you are literally a teenager and you offer like free work oh my god and if they don't give you anything in return and they have a lot of money they will feel guilt except if they are really like crazy people who don't even feel guilt when they scam people so like this is psychology, like, they will want to give you something in return. It may be not a thousand dollars, but if you get free haircuts, free money, like, uh, free uh, food, like, what could you ask for more? Literally, as a teenager, if you are 25 years old, you need money, but if you are a teenager, you don't need anything, pretty much. So, even, like, free haircuts and um, free teeth, free, I don't know, free food and stuff like that, it's amazing, like, and they will give you maybe a 50 bucks or 100 bucks per month, that's amazing for you, as a teenager. So literally, uh, this is my probably best advice for starting in real life as MMA. I mean, you can uh, try out different strategies, but I tried this and it literally works, at least for me. So yeah, guys. By the way, I will update you on all of those, on all of these things, how they went, uh, how they go in the future. So you'll be updated. Just uh, subscribe, turn on notifications, and yeah, yeah, guys. See you tomorrow.